While Nomura indicated that Kingdom Hearts 4 will be different from previous Kingdom Hearts titles and it's the start of a new arc, the Lost Master arc, it wasn't so lost on fans that there's already going to be a fairly hefty knowledge gap at the start of this arc. Welcome back everyone, this is your girl Empowered Muse and today we're going to discuss the knowledge gaps that we already know will occur in Kingdom Hearts 4 and by knowledge gap, I mean that for the more casual fans of the Kingdom Hearts games, they won't have a good idea of who certain people are or why they're even a part of the story. But we'll also discuss a possible solution for this. For example, in the Kingdom Hearts 4 trailer, we saw right out the gate that Strelitzia would be a possible main character in Quadratum, which is great for those of us who know who Strelitzia is and knowing she was lost to the darkness in Union Cross. But between understanding why Strelitzia is even there, and the concept of her and Sora experiencing Quadratum as something like an afterlife, casual fans would certainly be lost if they did not play any of the Kingdom Hearts mobile games, much like the issue we ran into with Kingdom Hearts 3. While every game with the exception of Parts of Union Cross was re-released on console before the release of Kingdom Hearts 3, I feel like a lot of casual fans just did not understand how each game tied into Kingdom Hearts 3 and the Dark Seeker Saga because they only play one of the side games or only play the numbered titles. So because we're already seeing a lot of influence and tie-ins from the mobile game Kingdom Hearts Union Cross with the Master and Masters and the Foretellers, and we'll possibly dive further into elements we saw from the mobile games Kingdom Hearts Dark Road and Kingdom Hearts Missing Link for Kingdom Hearts 4, I do think a good solution for these inevitable knowledge gaps would be to re-release some mobile games as HD remastered cinematics like 358 over two days and recode it. Just so the more casual fans can pick up on the story more quickly, if they're not really willing to play through the mobile game or watch the YouTube channels that have already compiled the stories from the mobile game. And these remaster cinematics will basically be the cutscenes we saw in the original mobile games, just in a three-dimensional form with more familiar voice actors. It can even serve the fanbase to release these HD cinematics as a build-up to Kingdom Hearts 4, kind of like the devs did for the build-up to Kingdom Hearts 3 when they released the Story So Far package. Since we know it will be a little bit of time before Kingdom Hearts 4 releases, but obviously not as long as it took Kingdom Hearts 3. So there's still time to catch up on the entire story if people are willing to not be lost for the upcoming games. But let me know in the comments below, would you be interested in watching an HD remastered cinematic version of the Kingdom Hearts mobile games in order to fully understand the story, or would you prefer another solution to these Kingdom Hearts knowledge gaps? As always, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to this channel if you enjoyed this video and want to watch more Kingdom Hearts content. And if there's anyone who may have questions about what to expect for the upcoming Kingdom Hearts games, be sure to share this video. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.